everybody! So today I'm going to be talking about airliner stencils and how I utilize them in my everyday airbrush routine. So if you are interested, please keep watching. Okay, so if you purchased airliner stencils from airbrushmakeup.com like I did, you would know that it comes in a set of two stencils and there are one that gives you the full lined eye along with the cat eye end and then the other one that is just the cat eye end. Now, so when using your airliner stencils, the question is not really how can I use these correctly, but more of how can I position them to where I would be comfortable holding them and then my airbrush gun. So what you want to do with these stencils, like for instance, the one that is the full lined eye, some of us, our eyes are not this long. I know mine isn't, and if yours is, that's awesome. These are perfect for you. But if yours are smaller than this size here, then this is not going to be the perfect stencil for your eye, which means like how we do with false lashes by cutting them down to fit our eye shape, we're going to have to utilize this stencil in the same fashion. Now we're not going to cut it, of course, but we are going to utilize it in the way that you would do this portion of your eye first, right? And then you would take it up and then just move it in closely so that it fits your eye. Now, placement is really, really important and the way that you hold the stencil is really important because you want to be comfortable with it. Now, the way that I'm holding mine might not work for you. You might not be comfortable with that. Maybe you like to hold it from the top and hold it down. Maybe that's more comfortable for you. Maybe you like to hold it from the bottom. Maybe that's more comfortable for you. So it all comes around to getting comfortable with how you're going to hold the stencil up to your eye because that's the only way to get the tool to be useful for you. So not every way or every way that you see is going to be the right way. You just have to find the right way for you. So when you're doing um, your eyeliner with the stencils, the stencil that I prefer to use is the Cat Eye In stencil. This is a stencil that I use on the daily all the time just because I find it's the easiest for me to use and whip out. So what I like to do to ensure that they are even is you can there's a couple different ways to do it so what you can do is you see the corner of your eye here you can go ahead and position the bottom part of that cat eye of course closing your eye you can position that bottom part at the very corner and this will ensure that your cat eye always extends out the same distance on each eye okay and the next thing you can do is just pay attention to the angle that you're putting the um, stencil on, of course. So if you're doing your eyeliner like this, you don't want to do your eyeliner like this on this eye. So kind of pay attention to the angle and the way you're holding it. And it also helps with the way that you position it. So if you know that you hold your stencil like this, you know that it's going to come out like that every time. So like I said, just go back and forth. Usually what I like to do is go back and forth. I'll do the cat eye end first, spray that out spray that out and then I'll go ahead and connect just to make sure that I have them even. Now the biggest mistake that you can do is just be afraid that you're going to mess up your makeup when you're doing your airliner. That um, intimidation I find is to be the thing that restricts people quite a bit when it comes to doing detail work with airbrush makeup and the whole thing is if you get over that fear that you're going to mess up your makeup then you're, you'll be totally fine to try and do anything and be successful at it. That whole fear that you're going to mess up your makeup by doing these little detail works and things like that can really hold you back and you don't want anything to hold you back with airbrush makeup because you really want to progress and advance and of course increase your skill set. So when you're doing it, just know that even after, if you happen to mess up, there are ways to fix it. So you don't have to worry about any you know, oh my gosh, I won't be able to fix it, I'll have to do my makeup all over again. I mean, you're never going to learn how to do it unless you take those risks. So here's how I do air shadow slow down for you. So here I'm starting with my cat eye end stencil positioned the way I normally would do it when I'm doing my airliner. And I'm just spraying through to fill in the stencil. Now I'm going to spray my other eye, but I'm going to do it a little bit higher so that you can see that it is easy to mess up on your eyeliner, but it's not the end of the world. So here it goes. I'm going to go ahead and spray it. And you're going to see that even though it looks like it's okay, when you remove the stencil, it is higher than the other side. In that case, you just take a Q-tip, it can be dry, and go ahead and wipe that right off. And because at this point your confidence may be a little bit low, go back to the eye where you did the um, cat eye end correctly and just finish doing that eye first just until you get your groove back. 
So here I'm just going to continue to fill it in the way I normally would, utilizing all ends or all angles on the airliner stencil. Now never let one little mishap affect your confidence. Now even though we don't want it to affect our confidence, sometimes it can, but try to just breathe in those moments and just say to yourself, I can fix it and go back and, and you know, just whip it out with confidence. Even if it's confidence for that two seconds, you'll be able to get the job done when you need it done. So now I'm going to go back to the eye that I had trouble with. And here I'm going to go ahead and get the angle right this time so that I can do it successfully on my other eye. So now that I feel like I've gotten the angle right, I'm just going to go ahead and spray. And voila, airliner even on both sides. So then I'm just going to go ahead and continue to fill in the liner the way I normally would, utilizing multiple ends on the eyeliner stencil. Like I said before, you're never going to get anywhere if you don't try or if you don't practice. So don't give up because everything takes a little bit of time. But once you get it and once you get comfortable, you'll be able to whip these eyeliners out like it's nothing. Now, just an extra tip when you're doing airliner, keep your compressor at the same speed that you would do your air shadows on because you don't want the pressure to be too high when you're doing anything on your eye. My compressor is usually at about 10 o'clock or less when I'm doing air shadows or airliners. So you just want to make sure that the speed is low enough to where you won't overspray. Also, lightly pull back on the lever when filling in. You don't have to necessarily hold it down. That way you have more control of where you're applying that airbrush makeup even though you are using a stencil. my airliner slow down for you so that you can really see what it is that I'm doing when I'm doing my airliner for all of my air shadow looks um, just stay confident with it find the right positioning for you and I promise you you will be successful doing airliner if there are any questions or comments that you may have please comment in the box below I would love to hear from you otherwise thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe